Imagine if you can reduce your operational work by 50% so that your team can focus on doing the work that matters. This is all possible when you migrate your testing and development from server to cloud because it streamlines your operations, leverages collaboration and automation so that your team can stay agile and deliver the highest quality products. Well, today you're going to learn how to do just that. I'm Tony Slava Dochova, and I'm a content marketing manager at X-Ray. We're a test management app for Jira that helps you test, plan, and organize your testing activities. I'm also joined today by, by Vadim Sadovsky, who is a QA lead at Securency, and his colleague, Dmitry Pivnev, who is a DevOps engineer. So today, we're gonna be talking about why Securency decided to migrate from server to cloud, how they did that migration, and what were the benefits that they experienced? Vadim, over to you. So Securency is a FinTech product company that delivers a complete security transactions and compliance tools to you. Here's in Securency, we are building a platform that includes different components and all of them needs to have a level of performance and security. Currently, we have like more than 50 team members, developers, managers, and testers working with such powerful tools like Jira and Confluence across multiple software products to manage their products, backlogs, releases, and requirements. We also use the X-Ray plugin to manage our test plans, test runs, and test scenarios. The X-Ray is one of the best products on the market that has native integration with Jira. This ability actually allowed us to have managers, developers, and testers to collaborate under one tool set. So the whole team uh, can uh, have like full transparency on the test coverage and uh, current product quality status in one place. Another benefit is a pretty simple integration of Jira and X-Ray with the test automation frameworks that we also have in the company. So the team works in Agile Framework Scrum and all developers and testers, they are actively collaborate and contribute to the quality and write test cases based on the requirements. We have like four streams within the security QA team. The first one is like QA manual. The next one is QA automation, QA performance, and actually the security testing uh, stream as well. For all those, we use X-Ray to organize our test cases, test scenarios, test plans, and executions. The QA manual guys mostly focus on creating test scenarios and take care of stories and test coverages. The QA automation team and performance team, uh, they automate existing tests and review test runs results, also using dashboards in the Jira with X-Ray gadgets. Uh, pen testers, they can also use the existing scenarios or create their own. Finally, management and the leads teams, they can uh, look at the dashboards reports that can be generated using X-Ray and Jira for an overall understanding of the product quality. So we decided to migrate from server to cloud because we were spending a lot of time on uh, server maintenance and updates. And we also wanted to reduce our operation costs and scale at our own pace. So now Dmitro will explain how we did the migration. Before diving into details, uh, I want to say that the whole migration process took us about a month. Uh, we were not rushing and we took our time to make the transition to cloud as smooth as possible to our team. Uh, we started with Atlassian migration guides and tried to perform the migration on our own. Uh, soon enough, though, we faced issues with users management. For example, we had a lot of uh, duplicate users or users with uh, incorrect email addresses or usernames and things like that. And uh, due to that issues, our importing uh, failed. Um, we, con we contacted the Atlassian support team and uh, started from that day, we've been working closely with them to complete the migration. Uh, following the advice of the support team, we started with uh, performing a number of test migrations. Uh, the kind of final plan looked like that. Uh, we agreed that we back up all the data that we had on our uh, Jira server instance, provided to the Atlassian support team 
and then guys help us with uh, restoring this data on the cloud. Uh, once the restoration is ready, uh, we should have uh, configured the user management, uh, Azure AD integration and things like that. During the process, we uh, faced an issue with importing X-ray uh, X ray test cases. It appeared that Jira doesn't support uh, importing X-ray test data, uh, namely when you import a X-ray test case inside cloud, it gets imported empty. You don't have any test details or test results, which are crucial for any testing process. So we started to figuring out how we can overcome this. First, we spent a couple of days with Atlassian support to figure out what was the root cause of the issue. Uh, once we find out that most likely it is related to the way X-ray uh, works and the way X-ray data is stored on the Jira server, we decided to get in touch with the X-ray team to get more details on that. After about a week of conversation with X-ray support team, uh, they provided us with a prototype Python scripts that they've been working on for some time. Uh, the scripts are written on Python and use GraphQL uh, for like processing Jira queries. And the main purpose of those scripts is to synchronize X-ray data between Jira server and cloud instance. Once we got the scripts, we spent about two days to complete the migration. We provided the full backup of the Jira server instance to the Atlassian team. They helped us with restoring it to cloud. Once the data has been restored, we started working on setting up Azure AD integration and single sign-on features, and of course, migrating X-ray data using the magic scripts. We had about 7,000 test cases, and, and all of them were successfully imported to cloud using X-ray migration scripts. Uh, those scripts are publicly available right now, so to anyone who wants to migrate X-ray test cases from Jira server to Jira cloud, there is no better way than using those scripts. They, they really do work. Um, the benefits that we've seen from the migration so far are as follows. Um, the cloud platform is more secure, stable, and reliable than a self-hosted solution that we had before. Um, now we are able to scale and grow at our own pace and save on licensing costs thanks to paper usage strategy. We have a better collaboration between teams because of X-Ray Cloud's agile board enhancements where all team members can see the progress of testing. We got rid of operational costs. For example, we've been spending a lot of times, uh, a lot of time on complying with security policies, upgrading and supporting virtual machine, things like that. Uh, after all, we decided to go with the times and switch to cloud before the server end of life. And the last but not the least, uh, we get a great users management thanks to Atlassian Access product, which allows us to use SSO and Azure AD integration. So uh, I want to say thank you to Atlassian support team, to X-Ray team for helping us out and making our migration as smooth as possible. Um, thank you. Uh, Tanislava, back to you. Thank you so much, Dimitri and Vadim, for sharing what your migration journey looked like today. And to our viewers watching this presentation, I want you to remember that you now know how to successfully migrate from server to cloud. And I want you to walk away from this presentation feeling confident that you can do the same in your own organization. Feel free to reach out to Atlassian or X-Ray for any help. And again, thank you so much for joining us today.